sometimes I wish I could just get away from all of this. <laughs> I often picture myself in my own little world. Like I'm up in the sky. Dude, that ref is so lesbo. Licky licky. Howdy coach, there was some mighty fine playing on that diamond today. Shut your damn yap, Rusty, and get a move on, why don't you? Oh, okay then, coach. I, I'll get on the road here. Sometimes I wish that I was like the lady tigers. I'll, I'll standing up for themselves and I and that what I'm just no, no good. I think it's time I get mighty comfortable up in this bus. Let me just take my shirt off. I felt my eyes being drawn to the coach as I turned my head. But quickly guilt, guilt washed over me. I could feel the devil on my shoulder. <sighs> this place again. Uh, not again. Boy, storm seems to be a brewing here. The loud cracking of thunder brought me back to consciousness as I turned my head to stare at the coach. My eyes lost in his beauty. The coach's thunder brought me back up to that place in the sky. A bittersweet sound. It was only for that, for that pebble that hit my window, cracking it in half. It was as if a pebble had been thrown from the heavens by God himself. I stared at this. A crossroads, I thought. On one hand, uh, my desires, and one hand, reality. For I knew God would only ever let me see, but not touch. He'd taunt me with what I couldn't ever have, I couldn't ever dream to have. I thought as I looked at the coach. Ah, oh my god, the bus crashed. Oh my god, can you believe that he crashed the bus? Hey Rusty, get over here. I know you're gonna take the blame for all this, right? You know what, Coach? No, not today. I planted my foot firmly for the first time in forever, I thought, sitting against the wall. Hey there, Rusty. I noticed you were cold. Do you want my jacket? I think it's real brave what you did standing up to Coach. Well, that's mighty kind of you, lady. You know what, I, I will take your jacket. This felt right, I thought to myself.